everyone. Welcome back to Unveil Paranormal for another interview with another paranormal investigator and maybe a medium intuitive we have with us tonight. Um, very, very blessed to have my guest for tonight. Um, I do want to let everybody know in advance, um, uh, April is the last month for season four, so there won't be any shows after the end of April uh, to be continued. But I did want to let you know season four will be ending. The other thing is um, happy Good Friday to those of you who celebrate, those of you not. Hey, maybe you got it lucky and got a three-day weekend like I did. So really excited for that. So enough about me. And we've got to get our guest on here, guys. I am very excited. Um, I met Sky. Gosh, I don't know. I think last summer is when I met her. Uh, really sweet person, really kind person, and I'm really happy she's willing to come on here and talk about herself and her journey and everything she's up to right now. So without further ado, everybody, welcome Sky Bowerman. Hi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you again for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so just to get us started, can you just let everybody know, hey, who is Sky Bowerman and who is Sky Catacombs? What is it about? Well, I started ghost hunting about 10 years ago. Um, I was into it with ghost adventures. I know everybody has their own little problems with ghost adventures right now, but yeah. they got me onto it. Um, really? I'm just a, a lone, lonely little girl just going out here getting to some haunted locations. Um just traveling the world at the moment. I'm trying to get to Ireland right now, so we're going to see how that goes. But right now, it's just me against all the haunted locations right now. So follow along awesome. on the journeys. <laughs> awesome. So you go investigating quite often, right? Yes. How often would yes. you say? Gosh, maybe two to three times a month. And it, it is definitely... It definitely is a burden on you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it can get exhausting. And I mean, and you're a busy person in your personal life too. So you've got to juggle family and a ghost. Yes. It gets pretty yes. chaotic, doesn't it? It gets yeah. very expensive too. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> uh, equipment's not cheap and locations aren't cheap, you know. So no. absolutely, absolutely. So you used to be Essence Paranormal Society, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So if anybody was following Essence, this is Sky. Um, and so you decided to change the name, what, this past year, was it? Yes. I was all about the whole team thing, but, you know, a lot of yeah. paranormal drama and such. So now yeah. I'm just a solo. So it's been a lot better, a lot more mentally better. Okay, awesome. So you did, Essence was an actual team at one point in time then? Yes, yes. Okay. So you're a solo investigator, investigator, which I totally support. Um, it's not very affordable for most people. That's why they yeah. don't do it. Um, but as you see, even as a solo investigator, um, you can still uh, kind of blend in with other teams that yes. you invited to their investigations. You, you know, so you kind of get to see a whole slew of different types of styles and all that. Oh, sorry, my dog's going to bark. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, which is nice. That's a nice thing about being solo is you're not stuck with the same people every time investigating. You can kind of see everybody else's. Yes, um, meeting style. new people. Yeah. yeah, and meet new people. Absolutely. Um, so when you're out investigating, um, what is kind of your go-to type of locations? Do you have a preference? No, no preference at all. It's just, I like to go in as a skeptic. Um, if anything okay. happens, it happens. Uh, most of the time, I'm very emotional. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that part out. <laughs> as you You're know. probably uh, sensitive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but any location is good for me. As long as it has a backstory and a history, I'm all good. And do you like to know the history in advance? Uh, not really. I like to learn it on the way. So maybe like after the investigation, I would like to take notes on it. But yeah. before I like to be able to, you know, some EVPs or such, you know, tell me some things I can note it down, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Let me put him in the other room. Come on. Come on. Come on, Oh, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Hi, Brad. Oh, my goodness. So my son's been gone for like two days. He's 18 now, so he can come and go. Oh. My dog's freaking out. That's the only reason I went out there. <laughs> Thank you, Asa. Hey, Brad. So, oh, what? No, oh, what happened? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, my dogs were trying to attack this person that my son brought home with him or his friends. Oh, no. I'm sorry. My dog's the same way. I have a German Shepherd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> well, Mine's not a German Shepherd. Mine's a little dog. <laughs> and he thinks he's dog. Uh. So that's why he's freaking out. I'm like, Aiden, I'm in the middle of my show. <laughs> so he's like, I'm leaving. It's fine. So the dog's uh -huh. down in a minute. Sorry about that. Oh, That's the live shows you, you can't really always control the environment, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably be sitting in my car right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's peaceful, I tell you that. So sorry about that, everybody, and sorry about that, guys. So let's continue. We were talking about um, investigation styles, um, how you prefer to go in. You were saying you prefer to go in blind, and uh, and then get the information. So you do kind of like a little bit of the history, right? Yeah. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, do you try to tune in to the environment, or does it just you just tend to just get emotional instead of just it, it just, in, it just happens <laughs> it just hits me like i'll just start bawling my eyes out it's horrible <laughs> so why do you think why do you think it is that you get emotional do you think it's the environment do you think it's because of the spirits that are there or do you think it's just does your mind just kind of go backwards and, and, and envision kind of what's what these people have gone through? What do you think it is? That, about that's what it is right there. The events that have happened, like it will play back in my mind and I would get, you know, either traumatized or severely emotional. But like for the uh, the shabby owl place that I go to, it's a little girl constantly and she's always crying out. So I'm always crying out. So it's just the big old. <laughs> yeah, so it, it sounds fiesta. like. It sounds like like not it, it's the spirit, but it's what the spirit endured in that location is what you're feeling and 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 taking in, right? Yes, it's it's crazy. It's a little much. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to a location you didn't get you didn't get emotional at? Um. So, Step Cemetery, Thornhaven. Um, Revenant Acres, you know, all those t little places I first started investigating. I didn't get any anything at all at. Um, but when I started going to like Indiana Sanatorium and this antique shop, it's when everything just started hitting me. And that was within like the past year. So it's not yeah. always been like this for me. So and you know, Shabby Al, you've been promoting Shabby Al pretty much you're the main go-to person for shabby Al. Now, that's what i i want to go to because it's not far <laughs> for me i know it's a little farther for you but um so do you want to talk about shabby Al? can we talk about shabby Al a little bit yeah yeah go ahead um so all i know is it's an antique shop so what what are your impressions on on shabby Al, other than the little girl is it very haunted is it just overwhelming or it's overwhelming <laughs> it is <laughs> It's like, um, you'll have your quiet moments, obviously, like every location. Um, to me, it's overwhelming. As soon as I walk through the door, my heart starts pounding. Um, I've had investigators scream running out. <laughs> I've had yeah. investigators cry with me. I've yeah. had investigators completely abandon me there because they've gotten so scared. Um, so it, it's a scary place, to be honest. The top floor... It, it's a wild ride. That's all I can yeah. say. <laughs> what would you say it is about that? Is it the history of the building? Is it the antiques in the building? What do you think it is that is making it feel that way? I, I want to say it's mostly the antiques. But when, I don't know, when I go upstairs, it's like a past event has happened there that shouldn't have happened. And okay. so... <laughs> So that keeps replaying in my head every time I go up those stairs. So it's a mixture of both. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and that's the way a lot of these locations are. It's a, it's a mixture of both. 
And Brad says he ran out. So he was one of them that ran out. Oh my, I would love to see that. Brad just freak out and run out. <laughs> You're more welcome to come by whenever. Yeah, I would I would love to see it just because I've not been to a location that the location itself has made me want to every time I visit it leave. I've been to locations where a spirit has made me want to leave, but like for instance, like Rose Hotel that had happened to me, but when I went back, I didn't have that experience. So yeah, you know, for a location itself to constantly and consistently have that, it's it that's really interesting to me. It's a it's you know, I'm actually going to say this. It's a really scary place. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's more terrifying than the sanatorium that I've been going to recently. So, yeah. And that's a big place. And this is just a little shop. <laughs> right. So, I mean, you right. can experience it as much as you want. But, like, I, I do know that there are quiet nights. So, don't be disappointed if it is quiet. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a... a a shop I follow now on Facebook, um, but you know, usually they just post antiques, but I love antiques, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I see that, yeah. I yeah. love it there. Yeah. Yeah, I have a heyday. I have to come early just to shop. So Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome, awesome. So um, other than you going into locations and feeling sensitive, do you have equipment you prefer to use at your locations? I prefer just to use myself, a camera, and maybe a flashlight. <laughs> that's a flashlight yeah. yeah, that's about it. For everything else, I just think it's a burden that you have to carry all that stuff when all you yeah. have to do is just listen. <laughs> and, that's and just that's, my thing. That's true with the equipment. Sometimes I think we've overdid it with the equipment. Um, yeah. When in reality, people were ghost hunting without all that stuff before. So exactly, you just got to... Yeah. You just got to really just listen, feel the room, you know, all that stuff. But the nice thing about it is some equipment can validate, help validate what you're feeling, what you're thinking. So that's yeah. the bonus to it, um, especially if you're a skeptic or if you're not sensitive. So it's great for that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's loud outside right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dog's that. still barking because he didn't realize my son has already left. So it's fine. I don't. I don't know who his friends was, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> the kids, you know, and they get to be adults cause he's an adult now. They just bring random people over to hang out and okay, just wait till those days. Puppies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I know you have a lot scheduled. A lot of investigations coming up. Do you have any public investigations you will be at or you will or you will open up to the public? Um, tomorrow is our first public at Shabby House. Um, oh, we yeah. have maybe six uh, new people coming along. So okay. depending on how that turns out, it will let me know how other public investigations will turn out. So that's just like my test run. So, okay. Tomorrow's the first day. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous because I don't want it to be a quiet night for them if it is. I'm just right. Gonna, <laughs> I hope it's active. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you're going to have new people there. Uh, are they uh, experienced investigators? Do you know? Um, a couple of them are. I think one of them is just now getting into the paranormal. So okay. we're going to see how that works out for her. Okay. Um. And the other five, yes, they're on teams. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, maybe they'll get a good experience. So if they're on teams, they probably know. You do have quiet nights. Yes. But definitely, um, even on a quiet night, when you have a sensitive in the room, they still know that they're still, you know, still oh, yeah. to come back. <laughs> you'll, so. you'll know if you just see me crying in the corner somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sky's book bag has a flashlight herself uh and tissue paper <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> pretty much that's what you need to take so awesome brad <laughs> awesome brad's been there we know that hey sister sister that's my sister um awesome hey nominee welcome 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 um I think that's going to be a really cool thing for Shabby Al and for you to get to host that um, and 
get to share like that location with other people because I am super excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I mean it's that's like a 45 minute drive for me and I, I can't wait for my first time there. So it's gonna it be awesome. so much fun. I can't wait for you to be there. It's three yeah. hours away from me though, so it's it's quite a hike. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, I get that. Those are ones I gotta plan way in advance. Those three hours, yes, yeah. for sure. So, is there any other paracons you're doing, or do you do anything like that? I haven't yet. I haven't started. I'm kind of nervous. I'm starting those, but okay. I might do Hannah, the Hannah House celebration. I think that's what it is, paranormal yes. celebration. And then I'm gonna try to go to your event as well. I'm gonna try. Pair Unity we'll Five, see. just so we'll everybody knows. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. And those, uh, those are very good for networking. So if you're wanting to meet other teams, um, other content creators, because you do content creating um, on your YouTube, um, you know those those are great ways to meet people and kind of. Uh, play around with ideas and all that. And it's also great when there's venues there, venues you haven't heard of you, that you can pay yeah. to play, you know. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. Well, nominates because she has kids. And you, I hate you too. You, nominates my niece, and sh she would be a reason I would be in my car too. Love you, Nom. <laughs> <laughs> my kids are crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm fortunate enough. My kids are older. Um, I just got the dogs that like to bark in the background. So mm -hmm. I have a two and a four year old. Oh yes, uh, I would be in my car also. Yes. I, yeah. I might be in my car just to get away. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you for being able to do that and do the paranormal at the same time. That's awesome. Thanks. Yep. I don't, yeah, it's probably warmer down there than it's, it's pretty warm up here too. So it's a nice day actually up here. I in, just did a bunch of yard work. Did you? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. <laughs> well, good thing the show's only an hour long. <laughs> then you can just rest. Well, hopefully yeah, the fine. kids will let you rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So do you have like anything on your bucket list of places you want to go say this year? Like, do you have anywhere new you're going this year that you haven't been to? Um, I'm going to Randolph County infirmary with a couple of friends. Um, okay. I've never been there before. I've always oh. heard good and spooky things about the place. So we're going to see how that goes. Awesome. I don't, I don't nothing about the place. So I'm going in blindsided. Yeah. Hey, Nicole. Yeah. I um, have not been there either. It, but everybody tells me. I mean, I don't think there's anybody that I've ever spoken to that didn't have, that did not have an experience there. You know? I know, yeah. Some kind. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like trying to find somebody who's like, because there's always locations where people go, and some people are like, oh, you know, I didn't really have an active night that night, you know. And I I'm like that, that with theory. a lot of places, and it's yeah. kind of frustrating because it's just like it's racking up the bills now, and it's just like. <laughs> I'm not having the time of my life right now. Right. <laughs> um, Nicole says it's a great place to investigate. Yeah, I actually would love to actually get scared on an investigation, wouldn't you? I, <laughs> I mean, like, scared. you know, like just a little scared here and there at some locations, but like really, to I want to get to the point where I don't want to go back in the building. And that's how I feel with the antique shop. <laughs> And you're hosting there. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good friends with the owner. So I'm like trying to put her out there and get her haunted Airbnb and stuff put out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully it helps out. Well, I I hope it works out because uh, any location that could be closer to me would be awesome. <laughs> so I would yes. I would definitely be a regular for sure. <laughs> I'm so hoping there's a location down here that's called the Candlelight House. Uh, okay. I don't know if it was ever open to the paranormal world, but it's supposedly haunted. So I want to try to get into that too. Okay. Okay. Is that like a bread and breakfast or? No, it's okay. just a, a piece of land that somebody bought and it's got an 1800 house on it. And they did paranormal tours a couple of years ago, but then they stopped. So I don't oh, know. I wonder why. Yeah. 
it sounds the name sounded familiar so maybe it's something I'm, i followed but you know i i follow everybody anytime i see something paranormal i'm like follow, yeah. Follow, follow. yeah me too trying to keep up with everybody <laughs> um so you talked about ghost hunters and so was that kind of your inspiration for getting into this? Yes. It, my cousin, he worked with the Ghost Hunters crew or Ghost Adventures crew. Okay. So that's what made me more into it because I would talk to him on a daily basis and he would okay. tell me the things that he would get. And he was uh, the camera crew, one of the camera crew guys. So you know seeing the things that he was seeing and catching and things like that made me want to go out into the paranormal world and try to catch yeah. that stuff with him i thought that was pretty cool but that's what got me into it okay okay so any of your other relatives into this or is there a history there it's just he had to be I part of that get nobody else to do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> no they too scared <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Sometimes they believe, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're scared. I don't know. It's just a big, big old munch. I don't know. Yeah. Um, my family's the same way. I took my sister, you know, you were with us to that one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. At the wire, my sister was there and she was asleep by two. So, you know, it's whatever to them. She's like, it's not scary enough. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it scary somewhere or another. I don't know. We'll yeah, I got to take her somewhere scarier. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> you have a good night, too. You've been trying to get into where? Oh, I guess he's been, Brad's been trying to get in the candlelight house, too. It's right down the street from me. So okay. That's really cool. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So... Now I think it's pretty safe to say you're sensitive, right? Would you would you say that? Would you say you're would you say you're medium sensitive psychic? Always say just Maybe, uh, kind I of figuring it sensitive. out. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So we're talking about family. Do you think that runs in your family, or do you think that's just something that's naturally come to you? I think it just naturally did because I was always spiritual. I was never like a part of a certain religion. I was just always trying to find like a higher, you know, self. So yeah. I think when I was doing that, I found that I was a sensitive and it kind of like smacked me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, what would you say would be like one of your first experiences that kind of triggered you to let you know that, hey, I'm really in tune more than I thought I was going to be? You know, what, what, what? Job. <laughs> <laughs> we can go right back to the antique. Yeah. Really, really? So you think um, just that experience just was so powerful that it's like, oh, my gosh, this is real. This is like I'm really in tuned with this, you know. So from that point on, did you kind of find that you had more experiences in other places? Do you like do you feel like it's opened you up? Yeah, it has opened me up quite a lot. Um, the next investigation was the sanatorium where you'll be going with me next month um yeah. when i was in the bryant's ward or the i can't remember what it was called um i've I always seen like the black tall shadow figures and they would just block me from going into the building and i was just sitting there talking to dawn you know saying i can't go into this building and she was thinking i was making it up so yeah. i was like i can't there's something blocking my way i don't want to walk through this black mass i don't know what it is mm -hmm. you know and that was my next experience. And then since then, I've just been like a wreck. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. <laughs> just a wreck. <laughs> so you're you're really on that journey right now. You're really focused a big time on that journey, which I think is I support everybody to get spiritually in tune if they can, if they're capable, because your world changes. Uh, you start making decisions differently, um, yeah, which does. is weird. <laughs> like, did you have you found yourself even in everyday life, your decision making has kind of shifted? Um, it's you know, it's emotional, and it can make you very emotional. But you know, life is just a little different when you're in tune than when you're not. It's like being woke, you know, being you're woke, but yeah, oh, yeah. I always get that like that bad feeling in my tummy if I like you know try to make a decision and I'm I'm right right after it and it's just like holy mm -hmm. crap what's going on? 
And I feel like um, when you're more in tune, you make better decisions. Um, but they're usually when you're making bad decisions, it's because the emotions are too overwhelming. So, you know, you're either going to be emotional, you're going to emotionally make a decision or you're going to make a better decision because your intuition is telling you otherwise. You know, yeah. so that's awesome. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I think it's great when people tune in um, to all that. Now, you, so you've been investigating how long would you say? Brad said he's investigated you, with you on and off for like 10 years. So that about how long about been 10, 11 years. Yeah. 10, 11 years you've been investigating. Um, what was your, what was your first location? Do you remember? Thornhaven Manor. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I miss <Yeah>. that place. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not available and I unfortunately never got to go there, but what was, uh, what was that a first experience like for you? That was just mind blowing place. It was extremely active every time that we went, you could really? hear little kids laughing in the hallways and calling out to you. And it was, <sighs> it was really what jump started me into this. Cause I was just like, holy crap, this is cool. You know, I've never experienced something like this. They never went out of my boundaries to, you know, experience this stuff. So it was really cool. So that's what started it. That's awesome. Um, now, Thornhaven Manor, I know it's not available, but was that just like a home at one point in time? Or what's the story behind it? Oh, uh, yeah, it was a home. Um, I think a couple people, I can't remember because it's been so long. But yeah. a couple of people were poisoned on accident, and you know, oh, a lot I'm of bad things on accident. In house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I thought that somebody was trying to kill someone, and apparently it was an accident. I don't know what was going on. Oh so, wow! The little, the little girl always would come to me and talk to me, and it was just really interesting. Mm -hmm. Was she one of them that was poisoned? That I can't remember. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna say yes. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, it's been so long. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Um, that is definitely a location. If it ever comes back available, I would definitely check that out because I've I've heard good things about Thornhaven. So it's such a beautiful place. Like on the inside, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So um, when it comes to being an intuitive um, for you. Have you, have you tried beyond having this? I know you just kind of are getting into it and you're on your journey. Have you tried reading people, just the regular human standing in front of you? So you're no. really tuned with probably what the deceased you'd say, the environment, all that. The, okay. the environment is what gets me the most because I can just feel the emotion all around me. Yeah. But like, I can't really communicate with the deceased like I can try but I've never actually put in like the full effort to communicate with them but like the events that have happened in the place if it was sad I would be sad if it was a happy event I would enjoy my time you know does that make sense mm -hmm. but like I don't never ever try communicating or I, I don't know how you say it like how mediums you know they communicate with the dead you know all that right right yeah, I know that all too well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can't I might have that. done it a couple times. Um, <laughs> it's it's definitely something that if you definitely feel like that's your path, I say go for it because you know you've got you you've got. If you don't open up to it when it's trying to get to you, it's going to make sure it gets to you. Um, it's been beating me up, man. I'm gonna let yeah. you know that now. It's, everywhere I've been recently, I've either like fell to my knees emotionally or it's just it's okay look last time it, I'm gonna bring up the antique shop again yep. the last time I was there I lost my voice completely I felt so ill and I was oh, wow. completely drained and I had to drive you know Brad and his friend home so that was really hard for me to do and that was a three-hour drive yeah so I was completely drained I don't know what came over me but I think it's starting to like you know, physically, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. So do you think, um, do you have ways of protecting yourself from it? Or I'm are you learning? Become, you're learning. Okay. Yeah. 
Or is there like a preferred method? Like, do you prefer the crystal method or having, you know, I'm just trying the crystals. Um, I've tried the sage. Um, I'm not sure if any are helping. I don't, I mean, I don't know how to activate crystals for them to help you. And yeah. I don't know what to say to sage. So it's not really like my forte yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. You know, and some people, they just, they meditate on it or they do like energy work where they're just kind of clear, cleansing their energy and putting a bubble around themselves. That's more of what I do. I, I do carry crystal usually, but I am one of those who's more likely to put a bubble around myself. Um, Cause I even do it for people that are in the room with me. If they're not feeling comfortable when we're in an investigation, I will even sometimes inadvertently not even mean to it's a natural response to me to want to help people so mm -hmm. naturally i will just like try and move the energy away from them or whatever even if i'm not even if i really shouldn't be focused on that but i do it's just it's just a natural thing and it will come natural to you protecting yourself whatever clicks with you is probably the path you want to go and really that's the way it is in any of the spirituality journey that you're on is whatever just clicks and holds is really probably the path you need to go on. You know, everybody's different. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a religious thing. It's just a spiritual yeah. thing. And, you know, everybody's got to kind of figure it out. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. St. Michael bless medals and patron saint of police. See, that's Michael, religious. Yeah, Don that, does that too. Yeah, is that um, is that Catholic based? I think she's Baptist. I can't Baptist. remember. And see, anything that's like that, I don't know much about religion. I know general general Christian religion stuff like that, but that's not something I've studied. Yeah, because I am not a religious person either. I I'm yeah. not a fan of religion. I never have been. I especially organized religion. I have strong beliefs against that, but I do definitely feel, sorry if I offend anybody. <laughs> but I offend I, people every day. It's all good. Yeah. I just, I have strong beliefs against organized religion. And, um, but I think whatever makes you feel the safest is, is what you should go for. Um, what's Ghoulie say here? I used to feel very uncomfortable until I started grounding, meditating, and imagining a bubble around me. Yep. It's not fun. Yeah. Um, Ghoulie is a friend of mine and he's one that I've talked extensively with on just this, what we're talking about right now. And yeah, he's been definitely doing a lot, a lot, um, cause he's very sensitive to stuff. So awesome. Thanks for sharing Ghoulie. So <sighs> I'm so happy I'm you're so here. excited to see me. I am. I like, but I don't understand. Like, I just, there's certain people I just gravitate to. Like, even if they don't like me, doesn't mean I'm not going to like them. And like, so I'm just like, I don't know why. I just like Sky and I like her vibe. So we're vibing, which is great. Well, yeah. my opinion, you know, and so I think that's awesome. But um, so next month, we're going to sanatorium, right? Yeah. Uh, Indiana State, right? Yes. So you're, it's going to be your investigation. So what, what, what can I expect going on that investigation with you? Cause you've been in my investigations, but I'm going to <laughs> yours. And what's that going to be like? Is it going to be fun? Like, I, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. But I'm more to the party side. I'm more into like the professional side. So like yeah. a lot of noise, a lot of bickering, that kind of stuff. Like I just immediately kick yeah. it out. But my investigations, I tend to have a lot of fun. I'm gonna make make dinner for everybody. We're gonna have a good time. Um, You're gonna be food. <laughs> you know, we're feeding everybody. Oh my god, I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, everybody always has fun on investigations with me. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the entire thing because I don't know what I'm doing so right right <laughs> and it's a big big location so yes. we could get lost in there probably if we haven't been there right it's fun if you get lost it's all good okay <laughs> should I bring I my walkie talkie 
<laughs> What's that? I've been lost in there a couple times. Have you? Yeah, and I heard they have tunnels. Do they have tunnels there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you scared of bats? Oh uh, yeah. I hate bats. I hate well don't bats. go in the tunnel. <laughs> Okay. Don't go in the tunnels then. <laughs> I might have a panic attack. <laughs> I had to like crawl my way out of the tunnels because I thought they were gonna get stuck in my hair. I yeah. was like, I hope they don't hear me. Um, you've been to Waverly or no? I have worked their haunted house. I've never actually investigated there. They had a lot of baths when I was there. A lot. Oh. It was like mid July, and there was, they were on the first floor for some reason. It was that's strange. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. I'm like, because all the windows, it was still when I know they put some windows in, but they still had windows open. They still had like you can just. So I don't yeah. know. I want to go there. It's such a pretty place. Yeah. Snakes. Oh, I didn't think about snakes. There's snakes. I'm not scared of snakes. It's not good. I'm not scared. Scared uh, bats. I'm scared of. Like I am petrified of bats. It's weird. Anything that flies scares me. It's all good. <laughs> like that could be because then it can just like entangle in your hair. Oh and... my gosh! I, I had one stuck in my hair at one time, and I just thought it was the most disgusting thing ever. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I would, I would freak out. And I don't know, like, what do you do? Do you just wear a hat and cover it up? up? Yeah. Or you had to have a winning up stuff? It was, like, it was like tightened down here with those strings and I was just crawling my way out because like any little sound can wake them up and they just, they surround you. And I'm just like, no, I'm okay. I love <laughs> animals and all, but like bats, no. Mm -mm. Anything flying at me that I can't control? No, I'm good. Yeah, I think I might take a tennis racket with me or something. <laughs> I'm oh just saying. Like, I'm I... Marissa down there. Bzz, bzz. I'm fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I do not like to kill anything. It's a weird thing with me. I posted about the other day with the centipede that was in my bathroom. And I actually caught it today and released it outside. So the likelihood of me actually taking uh, a tennis racket to a bat's really slim. But if that thing's coming towards me, I might. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> what is this doing? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. That's okay. Thank you, Brad. You can bring a tennis racket. That'd, that'd help. Okay, I guess it's going to put you on the truck speakers now. So if you hear yourself, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's problem. That's not a problem at all. I, I actually don't hear myself. So yay. Awesome. Um, guys, if you have any questions for Sky, also the Q&A is open um, up to you. If you have questions for her, just drop your question in there. So YouTube. What kind of content do you have on YouTube? I, I I'm pretty sure I think I know what you got on there, but what 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 are you sharing with everybody? I'm just starting out. It's so embarrassing. Why? <laughs> like, Why? I think my editing is just it's so horrible, and like I'm not overreactive like most people. Like I'm not just screaming and like running around and stuff like that. Like most people see that as content, and I'm just like I'm not scared. Like what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Like, I'm recording it and all, but, like, you know, like, I don't know. Most YouTubers that go out ghost hunting, they're always screaming at something or they're always putting, like, intense background music or something like that. And I'm just, like, I'm not scared. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to sit here and hold this camera. And right. if I catch yeah. it, I catch it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, so, yeah. Here's the thing with YouTube, I, I find. Um if you want a lot of followers, if that's like the goal, then yeah, just make it like everybody else's stuff where it's scary mm -hmm. music, everybody's screaming and freaking out and demons are there, whatever, you know. But if you're more concerned with putting out like your story and your journey, 
just do you like don't even work yeah out, you know um you just got to do you like hey and some people appreciate that you'll find it's really interesting some people appreciate that they they like to just kind of see what it's really like to investigate where there's limited editing and you really get to learn and it won't even be like the content anymore people will gravitate to you uh in general because you one you're a person who's i think easy to gravitate to but two um you know they'll just like sky stuff they'll follow you on all your stuff and they'll want to see even if you just decide to do a podcast you decide to just chit chat you decide um you know what i want to talk about butterflies or something you know <laughs> like <laughs> They'll be following you because they've, it's not just what you're putting out there that's entertainment in like the standard society way. It's you that they enjoy watching mm -hmm. and seeing. So our channels will get better, Sky. It just takes practice and learning. Don't sweat it. I'm yeah. trying. Asa said our channels. Is, is Asa, are you guys on the same channel or I'm confused? <laughs> he has a channel as well. He shares like haunted uh, stories and such, I believe. Okay. Oh, we got some questions for you. Okay. From Nicole, what so far is the best evidence, favorite as evidence you've ever captured? I don't know. Captured wise, I don't have a favorite. Most of my favorites are like from when I hear in real time. Because most of the stuff that I catch that is really freaking cool, I never catch on anything else but my ears. So it's just like, what the heck? I had, like at Thornhaven, I had that little girl just, you know, talking her, her mouth off in the hallway. And I was just like, I'm not even recording this. <laughs> so, best evidence I've captured. I, I don't have like a favorite evidence that I capture because most of the things that I have have been like knocks and you know voices and things like that. But you have a favorite experience that you've had? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really, because most of my experiences are kind of terrifying. <laughs> I mean, some people want to tell those, you know, they, they really enjoy that. I mean, what would you say was probably the most terrifying? I mean, would it be just that experience at the Shabby Owl or is there another terrifying moment you've had? Um, okay, so my first time at Step Cemetery. Have you heard about Step Cemetery before? Yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that was my first actual cemetery that I have ever investigated. Um, most terrifying experience. You can see shadow people all around you at night, staring at you. Oh. So that that is the first time I have ever seen a shadow figure and multiple at the same location. So that was a, the scariest thing I've ever seen. Um, any other place I've been to, um, I seen that like Brad was talking about Panzerati's. There was oh, a shadow yeah. figure staring at me yeah um in the attic he had two glowing red eyes you know mm -hmm. staring at me nonchalantly just sitting there and i ran down the steps so <laughs> so that's about it those are my two most uh wow interesting. yeah it so was a little scary yeah so shadow people they're pretty is that like probably one of the worst entities you've come across? Like you just feel they like, like so they shape shift into like the most yeah. randomest things, and it's so terrifying because this guy can be like twelve feet tall and look down on you, yeah. and you're just like you know pooping your pants running out of the way. So it's just <laughs> <laughs> they're terrifying. Yep, yeah. I, I agree. The the a shadow person and a shadow like person it's kind of i had this conversation on one of my shows that they're two different people they're two different things um one is human and is sha a shadow the other is shape-shifting um and the shape-shifting right. ones are terrifying they they to me seem to be the ones that turn into the crawlers yes um, i've seen that yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah. So those I get totally why those would would, would creep you out. Um, what is Panzerotti's? Is that a restaurant or what is that? It's an old Italian restaurant in Shelbyville. Um, the owner, I guess, sold it a long time ago, a couple years ago, and we've been trying to get back into it, but um, the current homeowner doesn't believe that it's haunted, so he's trying to block all that out. Um, uh, we have gotten so much stuff there. Uh, shadow people up in the attic, um, the basement. We had a couple of shadow people. Um, really, it's just all visual things at Panzerati's. You never get, like, your equipment attached or anything. You can literally see, like, ant entities, like, walking right past you in the doorways, everything. One yeah. of the most active locations for me, too. Oh, wow. wow. I've never heard of that place. Um, I'm, I'm sure you'd have to be a local to know of it. But, yeah, that's interesting. I would love to see that. Um, oh, yeah. Driving for Fairfield County might have been the most scary thing. <laughs> Was that the one this past winter? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. That was so scary. I was just like, I hope I don't die on the way home. They had, I don't, I don't even know how many feet of snow that Fairfield had. I swear they had about three or four feet and I was driving through it. Really? So that was Yeah. That was absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I I do not do bad weather if I don't have to. Um, that's why I don't investigate in the winter most of the times because I don't want to go across, come across that. Um, I hate being cold. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so Nicole asked, has anything ever followed you home? Nope. I've been safe, um, surprisingly, for almost 11 years. Nothing has ever followed me home. So, yeah. That's good. Do you have experiences in your own home? Um, I did by family members. Okay. But, you know, they swore to me that they would scare me in the afterlife, and they have. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's just the thing. That's just the thing my whole family says. <laughs> so you got actual visitors from the afterlife. That had promised they were going to visit you from the afterlife. Yes, because my grandparents always knew that I was into ghosts and into, like, mm -hmm. you know, the scary shows and stuff. So they were just like, oh, we're going to prove it to you. So, yeah. <laughs> That's, I love that. I love that confirmation, even though it's, like, it's funny and it's kind of, like, crazy at the same time. But I love that, that there, there's actually spirits. That just makes yes. me feel like, oh, when I die, I could come back and haunt yes. people. <laughs> Which we all want to do. Every ghost yes. in the past is not like, yeah, I want to go back to, I want to go to heaven, hell, or wherever we believe in. No, I want to stay on earth and haunt my friends. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Let me have fun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I always, my it's always been the opposite for me. Um before my mom passed, she passed in 2021. I had told her, I said, when you die, because she's always been sick, I said, I will reach out to you. So I've actually been like the opposite of that to my friends and family. Like if something happens to you, I will reach out to you. And my mom's stubborn. So she did not want to talk to me for like the first two months. It Like I could not, my brother and sister were having experiences. She would not come to me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I told you I was going to reach out to you. Maybe they needed her more than I did. That's the only thing I can come up with. And that's probably, probably. I'm the most independent out of me and my siblings. So, um, you threw the pool hose and at me while I was swimming at Fox Hollow. Oh, you got to investigate Fox Hollow. Why are you going to call me out like that for, Brad? <laughs> yeah, like we went to Fox Hollow like three or four times, I think. And every time he got in the pool, I would always bully him. So I threw the pool hose that uh, what's his face killed his victims with. So I just threw it at him. And I was like, here you go. You're using weapons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh we had a good time. Like it, it was, it's really fun investing with people that you enjoy because it just makes the time go so much smoother. And yeah. you actually, I think, 
you get more evidence when you're happy and you're comfortable and you're not paying attention to the spirits around you. I think that's like the best part of it. I've, I've heard that from a lot of investigators. They'll get like better EVPs when they're having a casual conversation. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. Asa has a question here. When you began to wonder about mediumship, did supernatural things begin to happen in your life? Um, not necessarily. It's all the same uh, for what I know. Nothing much has changed. Okay. Just a little bit of, uh, you know, I, I do feel like you've probably just opened up a little bit more. And so, yeah, I, I think that's great for you. Uh. Nicole asked, where is a place you would want to investigate if money wasn't in the picture? So no money, I mean, money doesn't matter. Where would you want to go? I want to go to the UK. I've been like crying to go over there because it's like one of like the most historical, like, I don't know. I love castles. I love, you know, tombs and stuff like that. I want to go across the seas and just investigate the whole thing of UK, Europe, whatever. But no, I'm broke. So <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I agree with you on that. Like, um, there's just, I mean, there was so much, um, I guess, uh, we know so much history about the UK that we know about a lot of the trauma that's gone on over there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you have monarchies being completely destroyed and new leaders and just everything, uh, you know, you know, we, I'm sure every place on this earth has a lot of history to it. But yeah. we know Europe's history. We 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 learn quite a bit of that here in America. So it's like, you know, we know that we're gonna get some interesting stuff going there. Exactly. Yes. And you mentioned Ireland, right? Was it Ireland? Mm -hmm. Is there a specific reason for Ireland as opposed to any of the other countries there? Um, well, when I started doing like my ancestry and stuff like that. That's okay. where most of my ancestors came from, um, that and the upper highlands of Scotland. So I'm trying to get into, like, the castles that most of my bloodline have lived at, and I want to investigate there. So that's one of my main goals. But I, I was going to do it this year, but, um, you know, financial reasons, it had to be canceled. So hopefully next year. Right. Yeah, for sure. And are you going to specifically try to reach out to any of your bloodline there when you do get a chance to go? Um, I'm not really, just because I don't know their actual, you know, names and their history okay. and stuff like that. I don't know if it was just put in there, just you know, you know, just to be in there. So, yeah. so I just want to learn about the locations and see if I get anybody there. Yeah, for sure. A castle just. I mean, we have like little castles, like it, you know, just sporadically placed. I mean, they're not castle castles. Like I know, yeah. Queens did not live in there with all the drama and the back and forth, and you know, murders and, and the beheadings and everything. Like, come on now. <laughs> yes, we have little ha little places that are like castles in, in America, but it's not the same as Europe. So I think it is not a castle would definitely be on the bucket list for a lot of people for that reason. I mean, if you live in the UK, you're like, Shh, I'll just go 45 minutes down the road. You yeah, know? a ton of kind of location. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's nothing to them, and I do wonder if they want to come to, you know, America for a Yeah. If they think, oh, wow, I really, you know, want to get in tune with what America has over there, which we have a lot. I mean, we've had a lot of trauma famine we've had that stuff too i mean especially if you go further east um but it's just not the same <laughs> i think like the one place that i am like dying to go to is to the queen mary i believe that's in california yep that uh, is one of the places i want to go to i always hear about a certain room in there being so freaking haunted that it's ridiculous and people can't handle it and i'm just like are you sure can i go in there can i go investigate it you know yeah. that kind of thing and yeah. the history on it that is remarkable yeah it's, it's um 
I've heard a lot about Queen Mary and I've heard really positive things that it's a really good spot to check out for sure. For I sure. really want to go. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Sky, what's what's to come for Sky's Catagon? I mean, um, really, I'm just trying to get out there, you know, <laughs> just trying to get out there and investigate more locations, uh, you know, trying to open up Shabby Al for her uh, haunted Airbnb. Yeah. Um, really, I want to start, you know, hosting more public events because I know so many great investigators that get along with each other so well to where they make like a remarkable big ass team. So yeah. I, I want to start doing like public investigations. I want to invite newbies and beginners to go with us that are into it, but can't find other people to go with, you know? So that's my whole goal for this year. But as of right now, I'm, I'm way too overbooked. Yeah. So I'm going to take like a couple months off <laughs> and then hopefully get back on. So that's my plan. Okay, awesome, awesome. And if anybody wants to follow you, where can they follow you at? What's where can they find Sky's Catacomb at? So you can find me on YouTube at Sky's Catacomb. You can find me on Instagram at Sky's Catacomb, and you can find me on Facebook at Sky's Catacomb. I think I think I have a TikTok, but I can't remember if it's under Sky's Catacomb. I'll probably link it in this okay. uh, event right here. Yeah, yeah, I got some links in the in the chat or in the description, so they should be in there for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for, sure, for sure, I just you know got to promote you. Um, thank okay, you. awesome. Well, thank you so much. We're gonna wrap this up since our time's about out. Um, thank you everybody who jumped in with your questions for Sky. I greatly appreciate you all for watching tonight. Thank you again, Sky, and I hope everybody has has a great night.